Hello everyone, thanks for watching. For those of you that saw my last video, uh, you'll know that I did some improvements to the perches in my front and backyard. So I am actually out in the front yard now, shooting off the front porch, and I'm gonna see what birds are gonna come to this front tree now that I put some feeders on it. So let's find out. One of the reasons I really like this tree and this setup is the background behind this tree is really far away. I have a, a really large field behind it, so the background has a really nice blur to it. So I'm hoping that the pictures will be really nice if the birds come. So just have to sit and wait and see what happens. I have a, a red-bellied woodpecker that just landed on the tree. Looks like it's going towards the suet. All right, I've gotten quite a few species up here. I've been sitting up here for a little while now. I think the birds aren't quite used to this uh, perch yet for the trees because I only put the feeders out about a week and a half ago, unlike the backyard where I've had the feeders out for a while. So I'm gonna head back to the backyard now and see what activity is back there. I'm in my blind now in the backyard and the new perches have been up for about a week and a half now and I've been keeping an eye on things and it looks like the birds have gotten used to them so I'm hoping that that means that they'll be using them and I can get some good pictures today. The sun finally came out which is nice because it was kind of gloomy all day and it's about three o'clock now and that's been about the time where there's been the most bird activity other than first thing in the morning um, so I'm hoping we'll see a lot of different species well our first customer was a chickadee he's on the peanut feeder It's a good sign, things are coming.
actually took off my camera from the tripod because it was easier to move around so I can get kind of ground level shots pretty quickly as well as move it from window to window because I actually have two windows open here so I can see out so I can see that view and then I also see this view and I have kind of a partial view behind me So, by just hand holding, I can have a little bit better maneuverability. So, I'm in a bit of a lull right now. Looks like a lot of the birds have moved on, probably to another feeder down the down the street. There's quite a few houses with bird feeders on in them. So, just wait for them to come back. It's just about a little after four now, so. It's about 20 more minutes until the sun goes down and there's usually one more burst of feeding before it gets dark so I'll just wait wait and see I put the my blind I moved it a little bit from where it was last video and I kind of put it in a centralized location so that I'm not actually photographing the flat tabletop platform I have that's more of just a feeding station now and then I have different perches around me as well as the natural trees that I'm using for the perches for the birds so I have a, a juniper tree that the juncos like to hang out in so do the chickadees they usually come from that spot to the feeders and then I also have a maple tree in the center of the yard that has really horizontal long branches that the birds perch on before they come down to the feeders so so far it's been good definitely more species than there was last time haven't been able to photograph them all but it's good it's an awesome feeling being surrounded by birds and just like that all the jungles have come back So that's gonna be it for me today, this evening. Um, it's getting pretty dark out now and the bird activity's definitely dropped. So I'm going to get out uh, in the coming few days, I'm gonna go out in the morning. Um, so there's been some different species that have come in the morning as well. Uh, the jays are definitely out in the morning. It's usually more woodpeckers first thing in the morning and um, I've also seen a Carolina wren that's come in the morning as well, which is pretty exciting. So I'm going to add that as well, so you can see the different species that are here in the morning versus this evening. Um, and that'll be kind of more of a, a well-rounded variety of species of birds that come in the yard. So that'll be coming up. I'm back out 
this morning in my backyard in the photo blind. I was out last night. I was able to get quite a few different species of different birds, get some footage, some pictures. So I'm back out this morning and to my surprise it is snowing. So it's been snowing for about two hours now. This is only like the third snow we've had this season so definitely knew I wanted to be out this morning so here I am and there was quite a few different birds out this morning that I saw in the backyard window so I'm hoping that now that I'm out here they'll come back and get some pictures of some birds in the snow. dark-eyed juncos are coming back. They are in the tree line at the edge of the property. So they're coming back this direction. And there's blue jays calling to my left somewhere, so hopefully they'll come back too. That's usually where the Carolina Wren comes. Let's see. Snow's really coming down now. Some really big flakes. I just need some birds to come. They've all kind of dispersed for the moment. So if the cycle continues, they'll come back all at once.
blind. Well, I think that's going to be it for me this morning. There's a few tufted tip mice still hanging around, but everything else has moved on again. I'm going to try to leave while it's in the lull again, so I don't disturb all the birds when I get out of the blind. But very successful. I was actually able to use my tripod just to kind of steady the front of the lens so I didn't have to poke the lens out of the holes. It seemed to make it so the birds didn't get scared of the lens too much even though I was moving from window to window and, and it was very successful I saw 16 different species this morning didn't get to photograph all of them um, a lot of them are moving just too quickly I'm actually gonna move the blind back a couple of feet so that I'm not quite so close to the perches I'm actually too close to the branches I'm not quite used to the 600 millimeter lens yet. So I'm actually gonna move back a little bit. Um, but I mean, it was very successful. So far, these new perch setups that I have are really working great and I'm excited to keep using them. But that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>